Welcome back to K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. This is the under 70 kg World Championship Tournament here at the Yoyogi National Stadium at Tokyo. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is the semi final uh, between Jordan Piquet and uh, Sani Dalbeck. And we've seen them both fight some amazing fights there so far in this tournament. Yes. And some strong fighters indeed. This uh, is going to be a great fight, actually. Mm. They're both super experienced, same height, almost exactly same fight records. Um, same, yeah, it's going to be great. Same age. <clears throat> Getting ready for the start, uh, sort of the tension pre-fight. Sani gets ready. Sani, who is also known as a model and DJ and a DJ wow as <laughs> if as if a, as, if a, as if a fighter wasn't enough yeah. exactly <laughs> hey nice, oh, nice yeah, from Sani so this is going to be a clash about uh, a pure Muay Thai fighting style from Sani mm. and with the Dutch kickboxing style here yeah Just looking at the first uh, beginning of the fight here, I mean, they look physically about the same strength. Sure. Maybe PK is a bit stronger, but man, yeah. that punch actually connected. Oh. I think PK will have the boxing advantage here mm. in this fight. Just a feeling, a hunch, I'm not quite sure. But man, Sani can really throw some good kicks. Yeah. Maybe even fly through the air with him. We. He's always really entertaining to watch, that is mm. for sure. I mean, they both are. Yeah. I mean, hypothetically, you could say that this could be like a, a you know a world title fight because it's coincidence that they were in the same block and yeah. then they're fighting here in the semifinal. Good point. Whoa, hey. that's not a down. Love his wildness. Yeah, Sandy coming out. He always does this though. <laughs> Whoa, he almost had it with that left. <laughs> He's really had some big bombs coming mm. in. Because of seems to have a longer reach other than with his legs slightly, but uh, just, Sandy's just keeping in, coming in. Yeah, he's side. been really busy in this yeah. first round. There we go. More of that. Oh, it's interesting, right? Because I mean, yeah. at a work rate like that, you would think that he would start to like slow down a little. But he, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's hey. it. That's a down. Oh man. Okay. That, well, that happened quickly. Okay. Yeah, I did say that he would probably have the boxing advantage, <laughs> but I didn't see that coming this way. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Still there. Oh man, Still one more happening. down and it's all over. Yeah. Oof. Oh. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. Less than 10 seconds to go. Man, he Just is fighting one. his way out of this one. Good for him. <laughs> hey, and they want to keep oh. on fighting, yeah. Wow. Same bell back. Wow. Nice one from on part of Piquel as he builds up to round two. Given that water splashed by his uh, coach Mike, man. man. So yeah, <laughs> one, one more down there. So it was a one down on the part of Sani, right? And, and yeah. Randy well, he got dropped right. with, a, yeah. with a beautiful. We'll see it here in the slow motion. Uh, a hook, Boom. straight, and then another hook. Oh, to uh, the body. Okay. To the body, actually. Yeah. yeah. No. So I guess the hook and the straight was what really sh shook him. This is the one that, that hurt him. That's yeah. the one that kind of dropped him. And then. And then. I don't think that's a body shot that hurt him in the way that he dropped from that. I just think just he got pushed down fell, from it. Yeah. I think the damage oh, yeah. was done to the face. I mean, the head. 
Yeah, let's just stretch those hamstrings. Get back in there. Yeah. Get up against the rope, open up your back. Classic Muay Thai, it was a Muay Thai coach with him. Yeah. Sandy kind of reminds me of the artist formerly known as Prince. Oy. Yeah. Nice kick to starting off round two here. Yeah, so I mean, clearly, uh, psychologically, the advantage is on, on, um, on PK. Mm. But Sandy is just wild. And he's in fantastic shape, so you could probably fight like that for five, ten rounds. Yep. And don't forget that Sandy's uh, fight record out of 38 wins is 23 by way of knockout. Scary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, see? And stuff like that. He sneaks those high yeah. kicks in. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, this is it. Yeah. He's probably gonna stand up, but I mean, this is not gonna last a whole other round. I don't think so. It's too okay. He is tough. Man. Oh, he is man. really tough. Man. Cool looking too. <laughs> Why is he at it? Oh, oh, okay, but not much more chance. Okay. Punch. Oh, that's it. He's probably not gonna be happy with that. No, nah, no. Nah. I think the referee called a good, a good shot on yeah. that one. Here yeah. he comes back to, to Jordan yeah. Ikeo, who's the winner of this semi-final. In the K1 under 70 kg world championship tournament. Wow, he really seemed tired from that fight. <laughs> mm. uh, Jordan does. Jordan yeah. Pico, yeah. <laughs> oh. So there's that. Oh, there one you go. There. That's the uppercut. Ooh, Beautiful okay. head movement there. Boom. And then it comes the uppercut. Yeah. See how he slipped under yeah. straight away. Nice. Touch. Yeah, always an exciting fighter to watch for sure. I did kind of feel that this was something like this was going to happen. Since we're uh, in the f I mean, we're fighting with uh, Gregorian there. Yep. And, and that's the final yeah. of this uh, oh. under 70 kilo world championship. It's going to be another exciting fight, definitely. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 315 Japan under 70 kilo world championship tournament. And Nicholas Pettis.